Hey guys. So today I'm going to be talking about another Broke Boy music video. So I just want y'all to know, I was talking for like 30 minutes prior to this actual clip and I didn't have my mic on, nor did I press, nor did I press record. So, but um, today I'm gonna to be talking about uh, Blood Thinners by Scumbag Reed. Probably the video that put me in a situation where like I wanted to construct more, I wanted more from my videos. Whenever Scumbag reached out to me, he was just a like, I thought he was just a regular guy, but by the end of the like the experience between us both, uh, on set and like um, who he introduced me to, probably the most wholesome person I've ever met. Literally, like just the way he thinks, just the way he uh, presents himself as just gr all around great guy. The Blood Thinners music video actually originated in Austin, Texas. I've never really gone to Austin, Texas to shoot a video. It was it was a different experience by far. Um, I've also never had both cameras on my chest and gone down a hill on like one of those city scooters. I think they're called birds or something. I've never gone down a hill at like, I wanna say like 15 miles an hour with both my cameras that could definitely be destroyed if I fell and like fucked up and like tripped. Like it could have gone really bad. Put that in your mind. Just like imagine like a guy, a camera guy just strolling around on a, on a bird and just trying to get like going from location to location fast as fuck in like a day's shooting. And it's just like, you see me, this, tall long haired dude and then you see big james riding a moped oh my god honestly it was a great time as you can tell whenever you go into the music video you hear one of uh, scumbags tracks and it's um, the actual track on the radio in the car is called gutter kids gutter kids is actually uh, one of the tracks that he had come to me with and along with wolf of ball street and the third track was Blood Thinners. So all three tracks that he hit me with, I was kind of like mixed into, I was trying to decide like, man, do I really, which one, I've never had an artist come to me asking like, which song do I want to do? Like, what do I want to work with them on? It was like, even that experience right there, just like talking to him and consulting about ideas and stuff was a different style, a different, it just came at me with a different a different angle than I expected. So it was great. It was more natural. It was something that you can't really compare it to too many artists. Honestly, he knew what he wanted. He, he came at me with full flexibility on uh, doing what I thought was gonna be good for the video. Whenever I, uh, whenever I, I drove all the way up to Austin, I had all my gear with me. He said, hey, meet me at my homie Dookie Main's place. And I was like, okay, cool. Whenever I did this, it was like around, it was in the middle of like the season of winter. I want to say it was shot in like December, like November or December, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know. Like the music community uh, all around is so, it's grown into something like so much more than what it used to be. So like meeting an artist and then meeting the rest of his friends that are also artists, through, like it's really cool. But um, he's like, yeah, man, meet me at uh, my homie Duke Humane's place. Uh, Big James and everybody are over there. And I'm just like, dude, this is fucking sick. Like, not only do I get to work with this artist, he's bringing his friends along. So I get to meet more people, get my, my name out there a little bit more. And even then, like, I'm still communicating with these guys. Like, they're still like really good friends of mine. I hope to work with Scumbag again. And I hope to work with Duke Humane soon. Excuse me. But I go to this house. Big ass house. It's like a two story house. It's huge. And I go in and they're just like, they're just doing their thing, man. They're just like ripping bongs and just having a good time and throwing a couple brews back. And he's like, hey, man, do you want to go ahead and get that intro scene um, said and done right now? And I was like, honestly, that'd be great. I'm like, okay, man, like, well, me and him were consulting. Like, we're just like, hey, how should we do this? How should we go about it? And I'm like, honestly, you tell me what you want and then let me see if I can build off of that. So he's like, honestly, bro, I just want to be, um, I want a scene to where like, it looks like I'm intoxicated, running up into like, rolling up into my homie's house. Um, the, the hook in the song is, mama was a saint, but I've always been a sinner. That's part of it. But um, he was like, I want that to reflect on the hook. And I was like, that's perfect. He grows up, we got like some, there, it's unscripted by the way, I was just like, you guys just say what they, you think is natural, like what you would think in this scenario. 
but it the house is supposed to be his mom's house and he's thrown up he's like drunk as fuck and like he you can see like back and forth gutter kids is playing on the stereo you hear like him driving up and it's like a, a mixture of scenes to where you're in the car and then you're outside you see like the blur and like him come out and then he falls out of the car all drunk and shit he's stumbling you see him coming up to the, the parking lot like the uh, little uh, driveway and then big james and dookie man come out like they're just like bro where you been your mom's been freaking out blah 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 and it's just like it was really cool because like it was an all like from him getting out of the car all the way to him falling at the steps was all just like one shot obviously it wasn't too impressive but like it's just like i just love the shot the way it looked and especially like the raw audio was really cool i thought because like at the time i didn't have like any advanced audio microphone or something that i could be using i didn't have any crew with me it was just me my camera and that's it and obviously do human and big james at the l wherever and whenever they could help it was like they were perfect right hand man to like help assist with the music video but we go over there and then he like stumbling he was like mumbling to himself and then he goes over there and he trips mind you homie took a hard ass fall on the fucking concrete just for that scene he did it one time so it was like pressure on me to make sure i get that shot and then pressure on him to like not break his fucking nose it was like honestly it's I think that's my favorite part about working with the people that I work with is like a majority of every one of them, they always take a risk in their music videos and it's just like, it's, they really take it serious. They do what they want, they do what they need to to really get the shot and, I'm, and I love working with those style people because they're just not fucking around. They're like, they, I want this to look as if it's like, like exactly how I see it in my head. Let's do it. And it's my job to make sure I come with that one shot that's it so he falls and everything like that and then in the meantime like we're just like uh, we're like okay bro we're just gonna get the intro a couple scenes on the porch and shit and then um we're gonna uh, like we'll just crash out and we'll just chill catch a breather and then wait till tomorrow to shoot the rest it was great it worked out and just how we planned it to be that uh, actually both night scenes are actually shot in the same house one's the driveway in the front and then the drive uh, the, like the little porch in the back that setup was very simple all together it was just the camera and i had like this little um oh man i don't think i have it with me i think it's in my bag in my camera bag but my camera bag's over here it's just in this light it was just a light i'll just do like some size comparison so like on the back he's just in a port he has a porch and then he was like he hit me up he's like hey bro like there's like my mama was a saint, but I've always been a sinner. I kind of want to build off that, and I just want to make sure that I'm not offending you. And mind you, like, um, I feel like my my perspective on how things are shot, unless I'm being put in danger, obviously, then I'm gonna say like no. But like, if you're if you come at me with an idea and this is your belief and you strongly believe that it should be shot like this because you you know it's gonna look good and stuff like that, it's my job to deliver to you. So Scum was like, and that's one thing too, Scum's so wholesome and he was just like, bro, I don't want to offend you, but like, I kinda wanna have a Bible in my hand. You kinda come out of the back of the Bible and then um, I kinda wanna drop the Bible. And I was like, okay, let's do it. He was, he was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah, man, if that's what you want, then we can make that happen. I was like, this isn't me to like, I'm not here to discriminate anybody. This is your vision. I'm proud to be a part of it. It's nothing for me to judge you on. I was like, just because, I mean, I told him, I was like, yes, it's religious based, but you're not offending me. He's like, okay, let's do it. So like, he comes out and he's like, my mama was a saint, but I've always been a sinner. And then it goes back and forth between him being on this cliff. It was really cool. Everything was handheld. The majority of the time, every, every shot in this was handheld. Uh, I think I used my stabilizer for maybe 30% of the video, but regardless of it all, it was majority handheld. We're going back and forth between that and then also on the porch, you also see some uh, point in the music video where we're just focused on his eyes and his mouth. So like, I really wanted to capture that. I've always loved tripod style shots to where they're just completely still and the subject's the only thing moving. I just feel like it's easier for people to, it's like, it's kind of like a breather in, in like a music video. You see everything crazy and then you see something like that and it kind of like settles you down and you're ready for the, ne the next type shot. So I definitely wanted to use that in this in the song. And whenever we're doing that shot, I'm over here just like moving my tripod, the handle arm in the back. I loosened up the elbows, the where the tripod sits, so I can actually like twist and turn it a little bit. So I'm moving it a little back and forth, just enough for people to just like visually see. 
we did three shots. We did one of his eyes and then we did one of his mouth and then one of his whole face. And he's like, um, y'all don't understand. I just want to die. So whenever it's like that, I kind of like zoom into his mouth because I want them to know, like, I feel like that was just like a characteristic in the music video to where like, if you seen that, it was going to be appealing. So especially seeing like the, it all being sync. So it kind of just kept like, I guess it gave the viewer like a comfort zone for me. I'm like how I was explaining like thinking of it. In the midst of that, you see it like he says, you know, I'm the man, you see it in my eyes. So right at that point, I tell him to like look down and then look up and in the editing process, I zoom in and then zoom back out really slow whenever he opens his eyes. I had an editing idea for that, but I was just like, man, it's gonna be like that one edit that's gonna stand out majority of like, uh, from the, like the majority of the video. And I didn't really wanna be like that. Like, like, oh, he couldn't have done something better like throughout the rest of the video. So my idea was gonna be like, in his eyes, I was gonna mask out his eyes and it was gonna say, uh, and it was gonna say the man in text in his eyes and it was kind of gonna it was gonna like kind of like wash away into his like his pupils and i was like man that would be really cool but then people were gonna be like man you couldn't have done like another edit to like make the rest of the music video stand out and, but i mean i guess it's just an idea for another music video we, in that in that time he was telling me he was like bro i kind of want I don't want like a, I want a storyline, but I also want one of those music videos that are like, you got random locations everywhere and they kind of like all come together in color scheme, background and stuff like that. And I was like, definitely. But I also wanted to implement locations to where they look just as grungy as how Scumbag Reads name sounds. This is Scumbag. I wanted to be in an alleyway. I wanted to be in the dark. I want him to have like that I just, want to, uh, I just want to reflect on like who he is because it's the first music video that I'll have with him. So that's uh, that's just how I thought of it all. And a majority of everything was just like, like when we were searching for locations and like shooting the entirety of the music video, it was uh, really natural and it was kind of just like spot on. One of, one of my favorite scenes are um, whenever he is like in the song, I guess you could call it, I, like I said, said in the last break, uh, breakdown, I'm not really a musician, so I don't know the actual key words for like parts of the song besides verse, verse, intro, outro. But um, I guess it's like the bridge or, uh, or something in the song. And he's like, why you still talking bitch? Why, why, why you still talking bitch? Why? And um, he was like, bro, I kind of like, I want a hype man. And I was, uh, and I was like, that'd be great. Uh, but we only had Big James, and like Big James was for it. Like he was definitely for it. He was like, Nah, bro, I don't wanna, I don't wanna come up in your music video and like ruin it or anything. And I was like, Honestly, I don't think you ruin it. I think Big James made this thing look dope. But we were walking in Austin, just down like the stretch while we were grabbing, uh, grabbing some drinks and shit. And we, I see this kid, and he's like, he's got like a mohawk. Like the spikes on his mohawk were like all two feet long is what they look like i could be completely wrong but like they were just like he's got a huge mohawk and i was like dude i like that kid's get up he's riding this longboard he's got like ripped up jeans patched up uh, uh levi jacket i was like bro he'd stand out and then lo and behold we find um when we're going through the, these alleyways we find this wall that says sin on it and i was like this is just a music video like the whole or like the like the like how the music video is working out and like just like the irony and everything just actually like at our fingertips like everything that we needed was at our fingertips so it was really great and um like i think that was one of my favorite scenes in the music video that and the other alleyway shot with like the blue in the back and the blue graffiti in the back but like you got this kid like throwing his hands down like at the wall shots of like a scum smoking a cigarette just doing like scummy shit and like like that, that whole entire scene, I think we shot like three times, but um, just the fact that we were able to find this kid, I, was, I just hit him up, I was like, hey bro, like, have you ever been in a music video before? And he's like, actually no. And I was like, do you know, like, like, I was like, how old are you? And he was like, I'm like 15. And I was like, what are you doing? Like going down Austin, he's like, uh, going down the street in Austin. Cause there's like random fucks everywhere. Like this, you never, especially this day and age, you never really know what's gonna happen. Like being by yourself, being a teenager on the streets. And like, I mean, it wasn't really the streets, but it was like in the city. So even then, like you don't really know what will ever happen. He's like, nah, bro, I just, I'll always go over here. I'm like climbing buildings and like, I'm always like doing some like stupid shit all the time on my skateboard and stuff. I was like, that's great. 
was like, you want to be in a music video? Then he was like, sure, what's it about? And I was like, um, being a sinner. <laughs> and I, like, he was like, I love that. So he was like, he was like, yeah, sure. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to be a part of it. I was like, good. Cause like, as long as I have your, uh, your approval, all you gotta do is sit on this wall, point down at the, uh, at the wall and just kind of just do some, you know, like random stuff. I would probably say like the craziest thing that happened in this entire music video that we didn't get behind the scenes for at all was whenever Big James, Scumbag and I all like we drove up in Austin. There's like this rich side of Austin. That's like crazy, like expensive. Like you see million dollar houses everywhere and like you see like all these families and everything and it took forever for us to get this fucking shot just because people would not get the hell out of the way it was like this little uh lunch table thing or like picnic table thing and we were gonna have a uh, scum which we did it for like five minutes barely even five minutes of footage were on the like from that location because people would not stop getting in the fucking way like in the back and stuff like that but um we were on this huge huge hill and like you can just look over it and it's a straight drop of like just straight to the like the river that runs between the uh, that area that we were um hiking up and like these huge lake houses and shit like that we're like he's like hey bro so like there's like this uh there's this spot near us right over here i want to see if we can't get a shot pointed down and i was like that's perfectly fine to me i thought it was like somewhere i could have so much stability and like but I was completely wrong. Like it was like a straight shot still towards the ground. I was over here sitting on a fucking ledge. I, if I would have fallen, every bit of my equipment would have went with me and I would have died completely. And same thing for him because he's over here on like a, like he's standing on like a clip, like a rock that's like maybe like that. What is that like 12 inches? So probably like a foot, uh, like a, like maybe a, like a foot and a half, maybe two feet. And it's ridiculous because I was like, why the fuck are you really gonna risk that? You could de like, and he was like, no bro, it's for the video. I was like, okay, whatever. I mean, I'm down with it. Like, I'm still having fun. So it was like, and like, I'm okay with it. So I get my stabilizer and I'm completely turned it off because I wanna have like it, like put towards my chest. Cause if, if it's on the motor, like it's just gonna glitch out and it's just gonna twist off and I could fuck up the entire stabilizer. But like, we're on this cliff and he's uh, he's doing parts of the song and you can actually see whenever the first scene goes in to the second scene and like it comes back and forth back and forth you have like the table shot that nobody would get the fuck out of the way for you have us sitting on the cliff and then uh like three shots of that i think we did like four or five takes of that and i took a whole bunch of footage from that and then you have him walking on this little ledge in the back and you have b-roll of like the river and then you have like the houses like spread out everywhere so it was and just like i think the best part about it was like this was one of those music videos to where like i could actually sync a lot of the cuts and stuff into like the like the hi-hats the, the subs the 808s everything like i could sync a lot of it with the beat majority towards the beat rather than a majority towards his verse and like his lyrics and stuff which i could do a fair share of both but i think that was my favorite part and uh um so like whenever you see him like spread out his arms like this mind you scumbag reed is a huge fan of champion so if you're a friend of his or anything like that if you get him anything champion he's gonna love it but he has this badass um uh crew neck sweater that has champion stitched down like all these different like styles of like color and uh patterns and stuff and he was like bro i want this like this has to be a shot in the in the music video because i'm a huge fan of champion and i was like okay cool i'm done with it so like whenever he's like uh drink sip take a rip right there you see his arms like spread out and it's just like champion is like t -t -t -t. and like the hi-hats is just like really slow it's like t -t -t -t. and you just say go in so it's like it's really clean clean as fuck the scenery up there was one of my favorites despite the hike that i know big james hated and every one of us because we were like smoking so many cigarettes and uh, like throughout the entire trip it was just like cigarette after cigarette and our lungs just couldn't take it blood dinners was like one for the books it was one of those music videos that was like one that i take a lot of pride in just because scum I know you're gonna watch this all the way to the end, but you make good music, man, and you deserve a lot more than what you're recognized for. Cause he's like, one of my favorite tracks that he has is one with Fuck Paris. 
and uh what song is that so the wolf of ball street problems is great and rainbow skittles with fuck paris all three of those things go fucking hard so you make great music man keep doing it and i hope to work with you again but it was uh it was one of my first music videos that i actually surpassed and reached reached and surpassed 2000 views and i couldn't have done it without the help of like a majority of like everybody that supports me especially scumbag and thank you to dookie main and big james for always like helping us throughout the uh, the entire music video but yeah that's blood thinners by scumbag reed be sure to subscribe to the broke boy channel tap that little bell it notifies you anytime that i'm posting a new music video a project or anything like that as far as like film goes and um comment if you like this music video and yeah so later